You're watching the Seafood News Weekly video brought to you by the Erna Berry Executive Conference, now the premier event for the seafood industry. The Executive Conference, taking place at the Bellagio in Las Vegas from April 20th to the 30th, is expanding this year, and for the first time, the Seafood Import Workshop is being integrated into the schedule. Visit ErnaBerry.com slash executive for more information. I'm Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle. And I'm Erna Berry Seafood Market Reporter Lauren Castiglione. In today's lead story, the Canadian Department of Fisheries and Oceans announced snow crab quotas in the Gulf of St. Lawrence. The increases were largely in line with industry expectations and the department's prior guidance. Crab quotas will increase in almost all areas of the Gulf, but principally in Area 12, which covers the southern Gulf. Last year's quota was 24,613 tons, down substantially from the record levels of 2017, when the quota was 43,822 tons. However, good recruitment has pushed the quota up again this year to 32,480 tons. This is nearly an 8,000 ton increase over 2018. And speaking of snow crab, Ernie Berry market reporter Janice Schreiber is reporting increased snow crab volume in 2019. Total imports of all snow crab into the U.S. market for 2018 ended the year down 11.1%. Most notably out of Canada, imports into the U.S. market were down 21.8%. Canadian snow crab was down 17.6 million pounds compared to last year. Russia, however, saw a 39.8% increase to finish out 2018, thus placing an additional 6.3 million pounds than they had in 2017. Russia also continues to see strong imports through January of this year, up 33% with 1.6 million pounds coming in that month. In other news, it's about to get easier for Hawaiian residents to get their hands on New England lobster and for New Englanders to get their hands on Hawaiian fish. Hawaiian Airlines announced last Friday that Flight 90 flew into aviation history, inaugurating the nation's longest domestic route from Boston Logan Airport to Honolulu. And making that inaugural flight was none other than one and a half tons of live lobster. The flight from Honolulu to Boston is a little over 5,000 miles. For those traveling from Honolulu to Boston, the flight will take nearly 10 hours. For those going from Boston to, Hon to Honolulu, it will take roughly 11 and a half hours, traveling from Boston in the morning and arriving in Honolulu in the afternoon. Excuse me while I book my flight, <laughs> but before I ditch Lauren in Chile, New Jersey for Hawaii, hey. <laughs> our final story of the day reports that signs are pointing to no Sitka Sacro herring season this year. Although the Alaska Department of Fish and Game has not announced the season open or closed, there are now increasing indications that there will not be a Sacro herring fishery in Sitka this year. It's not that the herring aren't there, it's that they're too small. Average sizes, uh, average sizes according to some processors in the area, have been 92 grams, short of the traditional target of 110 to 115 grams, and far short of last year's standard of 125 grams. Laney Welch of Fish Radio reports that the latest Sitka herring fishery ever occurred on April 15th in 2002. Meanwhile, the last time a fishery was ever called off was in 1977. And that wraps up our news for the week. Be sure to head over to seafoodnews.com or visit the Seafood tab in Comptel for a comprehensive look at the latest market and industry news. And don't forget to listen to a new episode of the Seafood News Podcast released on SoundCloud and iTunes every Monday. Thanks for watching and you be well. well.